Yeah, see if you can fit that in somewhere. Unusable. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, had a lot of requests for Spafford. Tons of requests. Um, lots on the comments. Uh, my friend on YouTube, I don't, or, or sorry, on Instagram, Nugget the Chi. Is that how I say? Is that how I say? I don't know your real name. Um, tons of requests for Spafford. I'm going down the YouTube comments. Yesterday was fun. Talking about the fish stream, which was fun. I'm trying to figure that one out so we can do more. Looking forward to the Spafford video. Spafford, dude, check out Spafford. Wait till you start hearing Spafford. Spafford, give Spafford a listen. Right, awesome video. Uh, Brian Moss can hang with anybody on the guitar. Do Spafford. Um, Peter Chase, give Spafford a listen. Incredible guitar. Sold. Sold. So, the Postman, 3119, as requested. By, uh, by my friend Nugget the Chi on Instagram. And uh, whew, 19 minutes, 11 seconds. This is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a long video. Strap in, grab your guitar, let's check out Spafford. Now, I did one of these videos, maybe a few minutes of theirs, I think it was the reprise um, during a live stream that also got blocked. Um, so I have heard this band before. I have not heard this song. Not learned it. Ice cold. Um, trying to figure out these live streams, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to figure it out. Thanks for thanks for supporting me and, and doing it with me. Here we go. 3119, Fayetteville, Arkansas? Great sound and video quality. One to a four, E to A. It's like, it's like, uh, it's, it, that was like an Almond Brothers style walk up there. That was really, really cool. I love the sound in general. Four piece, I love, I mentioned this in the live stream too. I love how the drums are in, in line with the rest of the band. What a, what a cool thing uh, visually to do. I wonder if the musicians like, I wonder if the keyboard player on the other side of the stage likes it or if he's got to have his monitor just jacked all the time. And he goes into random clubs, and they're like, "Are you sure you want the? Oh, yeah. Yes, I want the kick. Yes, I want. It. Can I have it right here? I'm sure, that's what happens. Anyhow, uh, let's keep going. Love the sound of the guitar. Love the bass sound. Really, really warm, big, cozy blanket of bass."
Dude, this is a really good band. Do you, you um, one, <laughs> the sound is great. And everybody's, everybody's sound in the mix is perfect. Like, it, it's got a really, I keep saying warm, warm, well-balanced sound. Everybody's in their own tonal spot. Um, love the groove change. What I really like about the bass and the guitar is that, you know, he's doing, like, pretty textured, you know, guitar kind of motifs. And every time he goes up and down, you're hearing the bass go with him and and voice lead and hit those little inversions to hit those changes and it's not the same every time there's a lot to listen to in here like right there So cool that walk of your B, C sharp, D, and E. So you know your B minor in there. The time change in here, like the, the, the it's 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 it, the beat moved. It caught me totally off guard. Unless I'm just you know still a little under the weather from last night, you know. God, what is happening? What is happening? C sharp minor there. What is going on in this band? Ooh, okay, all right, all right, I'll stop playing. That's sharp. I like they're coming. I like that they're coming right out with the harmony singing, not like one lead and then the harmony. It's just first first note, everybody sings. Oh, this video is going to be long. 
Um, so what stands out to me is the arranging of, you know, how... You know, I've never been in a band like this, okay? So, so I, I'm not exactly sure how they do it, like, you know, how planned out it is. But they're obviously extremely seasoned musicians in this style because the keys and the guitar are totally living in different sonic spaces and they're completely complementary. Um, if you listen to it, not just where they are rhythmically coming in and out, but where they are in texture and just the actual timbre of the sound, right? And it moves constantly. I, I can't tell you how hard it is to have a balanced band uh, and have it sound this good. Um, I, I, like I said, I've never been in a jam, in, in improv, improvisational band like this, but I have to imagine it's very hard to do. Listen. There's a high, there's a middle, a low. Everybody's got their own rhythmic space. Everybody's voice leading together. Dude, the bass player's crushing it, man. discipline it takes to be in a band like this and not just fire leads over the jams to just to just make the audience wait for it it's a concept i'm wholly unfamiliar with never been in a band where you're making them wait and building Everybody, everybody is great in this, but I'm so digging the bass player that boom, 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 He just did. The dude, the dude. I'm hearing some serious reggae bass influence. You know, I'm hearing, I did, like the dude just has me. He 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 has me. Like he he is the one that is stitching the warm blanket. I'm, uh, you know, he he's he is on it. He he is the standout right now. Um, yeah, I, I just, I can't, like, I'm trying to pay attention to what everybody's doing, but, like, he, he's got me. He's got me right there. You see what I'm saying? Nice floaty chords on the piano.
This dude is really tasteful. how much dynamic control they have they are they are totally locked in together uh dynamically um meaning you know loud and soft and it's and it's it's obviously connected with like you know the amount of notes you're playing and everything else like that um but they're they're plugged in this is this 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 band is tight tight super tight super super tight Go for it, come on, go for it. I know it's coming. Come on. Uh huh, uh huh. Definitely. The Emerson Lake and Palmer coming up. You hear that little grab by the bass player? I know you guys, you know, might not be bass players. I'm not generally a bass player, but it's it's where are we 1126. Listen to it around 1120 here. Like that little tiny thing, you know, when you're just you're vamping in, you know, you're you're in F sharp for days, and here you are, and just implying that one little change, right? Just give your ear that one little something to hold on to. Like something next is coming. We're going somewhere. Right there. It's it's the little stuff like that that makes it. That gets people like me, that gets the music nerds excited. I see you. What I like about this is that they're they're building on the same motif for so long that it's functioning like a melody, where you know in the car on the way home you're gonna get that. That's a hook. That's a hook. That's what I'm kind of learning about this genre. It's like you have like texture hooks. You know, it's not just a vocal hook or like a motif like this literal texture hooks how do you describe it but let me tell you something if it's stuck in your head you're doing your job here Oh my god. Dude, th this this keyboard synth player is ridiculously good. Oh my god. When I when I heard that coming in, I thought my speakers were fuzzing 
and breaking like like breaking out. He has the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The frequency down. I mean, that was perfect. There's no way you could be in that crowd and not be like, oh my god, what's 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 going? Like it's it. it <laughs> that was perfect. I know it's on purpose. Can you hear it? How well balanced the band is and the drummer's keeping like perfect time over there does he play with the click i'm gonna go with no i'm just assuming no although i do see in-ears but the keyboard player i don't think i see them for bass and guitar um so you yeah, know they have monitors in the front to a piece so maybe he doesn't have that big monitor for the kick on the, on the side so maybe maybe he maybe he and the drummer have a track or a click or maybe that's just the only way he makes it through on the other side of the stage. But the tempo, the tempo has been dead on, man. Just dead on here. keys just disappear but do you do you hear how tonally good those key sounds are like do you, do you hear like like literally the sound in the mix the different sounds he's choosing to bring in and pull out are perfectly balanced easily one of the most b sonically balanced bands i've heard in a long time i bet it sounds great in a club this size i bet it sounds great and I love that they're adding more of these little texture that, you know, that little, um, you know, walking up to the roof and going to the fifth. Um, they're, they're adding those little earworms, you know, again, I don't know how to describe it. Texture hooks. Yeah, I don't know. But um, it's like, I can, I can see how that would get stuck in your head just like a melody, all those little things. Um, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Again, like the biggest takeaways from this band are the, is the literal sound, the tone when he goes to the game is like the perfect jump from where he was before. Um, it's got the perfect amount of teeth and hair to it. it the band sounds great. Classic, classic melodic technique he's using here um, when soloing in a minor key. Do your typical one, two, three from your relative major. If I'm in F sharp minor, your relative major is A, doing this. A, B, C sharp. It gives you that 
double that, that whole step, whole step jump like regular major melodies do, starting on the minor third uh, of your chord, right? And so that that gives you that that one, two, three, that more than any other melodic device gets stuck in the listener's head. And so that's why he's doing it. It's 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 things like that. You gotta get it in there and you gotta keep it in there. Because you can use it every gig. Always works. Dude, all those that... I don't have the, I don't have my right hand skills up to par there. But, you know, you're in the... F sharp minor. You know, you're going your flat seven. You're pushing up to that root and just moving position to position to position to position. Look at all this other pickup. Yeah, That's, 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 that's what it looks like when you're going 10 out of 10 on the wah pedal with your gain up and you're just pushing for it. That's it. That's the face. Guaranteed having a good time. That's why you play guitar for that face. You know, it's, it's amazing because like the texture and the tone of this band is really what shines through. This whole lead even is a very very linear how does my camera angle Am I like this I don't know it's a very linear progression from you know working up the hill you know or climbing the mountain not just in like intensity but in tone like in the sound of the band you know you're we're, we're going up and even the addition of the wah when you get to the peak of the mountain and you start the tremolo picking and you start making faces like that, you know, like you just you just summon Sasquatch, you know, the, you know, that's it, it. It all it all connects. It's it's an incredibly good sounding band. changes now. Alright, so real quick, I hate starting to stop it in between leads, but notice they were basically a vamp for the past, I don't know how many minutes, right? And it wasn't until the very peak of the mountain that the progression is, 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 is introduced again. F sharp, going out of your flat seven to E, and then you're getting the sound of your four chord B, but the bass player, the first time it sounds like, goes down, gets the third of it, and then the second time wraps it up with the actual, uh, you know, chord. So you're bringing the listener's ear down from the, from the peak of the mountain. Let me rewind a little bit so we can finish, so we can finish out with the epic solo, and I'll, I'll I'll, I'll try not to nerd out too much.
here. It's a bright sunny day. After all that, have you been F sharp enough? Have you been C sharp enough? Have you? Oh, relative major, hello. Like an old friend. And they have yellow lights to go with it. As you do. As you do, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sunshiny day in Fayetteville, Arizona at 1.15 in the morning, 3.1.19 in a hot sticky club and you're out of beer and you've had to pee for seven minutes now. No. No. <laughs> okay. Aside, aside from me being um, totally new to uh, the goals of this type of band and their relationship with their audience, here are my key takeaways. Uh, number one. Best sounding Best sounding band I've heard in a long time. Uh, incredibly good. It's sound. It's the timbre, you know. And it's and even though this has great audio and video, it's not that. It's the band. It's it's the drums are like the underlying consistency, right? Pretty even keel dynamically. The bass is this big, warm, fat blanket. Reggae style, you know, not your sharp pick attack, warm, cozy, you're so psyched to be there, you know, the guitar, you have, you have that kind of humbucker sound, you know, with a little bit of dirt, you know, but not like it's super, super wet in there, you know what I mean? It's, it's a very calm place to be, it fits in perfectly. And then the keys on top are like, are like from another, from another, you know, frequency dimension. The way that he interchanges the literal timbre of the keys, all the way from a crystal clean piano to literally static coming through the speakers, somehow wraps it up perfectly with this big ass bow on it. Um, it just... An incredibly good sounding band. Like, I can't express that enough, just how good the sound is. Number two. Uh, I found myself the whole night sinking, locking into the bass player. I, I maybe, maybe just I'm a sucker for the big, round, you know, warm blanket bass style uh, sound, you know, as opposed to like super percussive slap, you know, uh, uh, you know, sharp attack style bass would be like kind of the opposite of that. Um, but, but I, I found myself, uh, you know, in, in living in that dude's lair for this, uh, more than anybody else. Um, the texture hooks, the, the motifs, the motifs, the idea, I should say, of, of, of a textured, Intr introduced motif being the hook of the band it was very clear of the song is very clear in here they only sung for like a few times and when they did it was harmonies and 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 but like that they weren't singing like i can't sit here in my head and hear that stuck in my head i'm hearing that that you know the almond brothers style walk up and they, like that that um, that thing in F sharp where they're going to the to the to the minor third there, uh, and the and the and the little parts in there that 
But it, to me, that's all texture. That's not like a melody. It's like a, it's like a texture hook. You know, again, I'm new to this genre. I'm new to the approach of, of what these bands are trying to accomplish. Um, third, um, 19 minutes and 2 seconds. 19 minutes and 11 seconds. One giant climb. One giant climb. Everything is seemingly in an effort to that build. And then and then he he rips it, rips it on guitar all the way up to the very peak, and then it's the wah. And you hit the gain, and it again, the texture, the actual sound sends it over the sends it over the freaking top, right? And you can see it on his face. I mean I think I said summoning Sasquatch. <laughs> the, like, like the, like, yes, that, that, that's when you know you're doing it. That, that's, that's how you know. You can't do it and not make that face on the wah pedal and, and with that kind of gain. That's, that's what you get when you wah and you heavy tremolo pick like that. You get the, that's what time it is. That, that's what you're there for. That's why you do it. Amazing. Very jealous of that moment. I want that moment in my life. Um, and then you come down, the progression, or a progression, is reintroduced to bring the listener's sense of movement back, like you're going to wrap it up. And then after all that minor, you've had minor for days, and days, and days, and days. It's a bright, sunny, shiny day. The yellow lights come on for a major wrap-up, and everything's great. And then it just kind of has that wild ending, that bump, bump, bump. Like, it's almost, I'm starting to get the sense of humor and epicness in this genre. Wild. Wild. Anyway, really good band. Like, really good sounding tight band. One of the better ones I've seen or heard in a long time. Uh, amazing arrangement. And knowledge of your gear and where you are musically in the mix. Pros. Super pros. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you like this. If you do, please leave me links in the comments. I want to go where you think I need to go. Like, of course, subscribe. Ring the bell you know, so you know when I go live. Please, Jesus, can we figure out the live scenario? Please, Jesus. Um... And uh, as always, if you want to support this channel or you like the way that I teach and play and you want to get better at this thing, uh, I'd love to be your online teacher. Click the first link in the description. Join me over at guitargate.com. It's 10 bucks a month for everything. And you get to even post videos for um, you know, reaction requests for these that uh, I try to do every other one for a subscriber because um, you guys literally support the channel. Spafford.